Hey, and thank you for tuning in to my new video. So today's look is um, this right here. So something quite simple and quick. Um, I've got on the new um, lip gloss by Too Faced, the Sweet Peach. Uh, these are amazing. I really like it. Not usually a lip gloss fan whatsoever, but love these. So, t so yeah, today I thought I'd do something simple, like a subtle glare, a little bit of bling still on my lids and all that sort of stuff. Um, and subtle contour and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, so if you want to find out how I did this look, please keep watching. Thank you. Coffee. Okay, so I am going to start, start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Vanishing Primer Oil Free Pore Minimizer. So before I do that, I'm going to zoom you right in. Sorry, sorry. And just show you my massive pores. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. Um, is that focus? Um, massive pores here. Sorry about my moustache. But if you just look here, you'll see. Oh, it's still it's really fuzzy. Ugh. Um, if, yeah, so big pores, big, big pores. So I'm going to show you before and after I use this. So let's just zoom back out. Alright, so the first time I use this, I put way too much on. Um, and it sort of crumbled off. That's alright, I am only going to focus in the center of my face. And um, yeah, so my main areas that I want to focus on when it comes to this product is my pores on my cheeks. Everywhere it doesn't really matter, but I will stick a little bit on my chin, my nose, and a little bit on my forehead there. And that is pretty much all the places that I'm going to stick it. Oh, it feels so silky. Stick a little bit more. Hmm. Do you like my background? Courtesy of my sister. She actually made for her shit away. Oh, my lenses are a bit bad. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd put. Oh, yeah, so they're on top of boxes, but that's alright. Got a candle, got a champagne. Um, which is, what is that, Moe, Moe and Shandon, pinky, pink stuff, so it's all very cute, but then I've got a piece of shit there, I don't know, it's going to come together eventually, I just can't really be fucked right now, it'll come together eventually, I just, um, yeah, you can imagine it, I'm just going to stick on my beanie because my scalp is disgusting at the moment and it's coming apart and it looks disgusting so I'm going to stick on my beanie oh that's a little bit better okay so now I'm going to zoom you back in and show you my pores so yeah so the um, primer has filled in my pores feels a lot silkier and hopefully they'll be um, a lot better I have my finish on and stuff like that so yeah feels very silky and it feels very nice okay so that is that and I am going to put my wherever you are oh, I'm gonna put my Too Faced Hangover Primer by Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer Proactive Nourishing by Too Faced so I'm gonna stick that around the else size of my face Okay, so just while that all soaks and sets in, um, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Epic Decay Eye Primer. Alright, so eyes are primed. What next? Oh, that doesn't feel too bad. Guavi's next. Um, I was going to use my Napoleon Purtis, but my Napoleon Purtis vanishing, but it only really works. I'm going to use the Napoleon Purtis Primer, so shit. Um, I'm going to use, well, I was going to use my Too Faced, but I've only got my really dark one, and my my tan is not that dark this time, so I can't really use it. This is really good stuff. I really need to get, like, a, I really need to get, like, my right colour, but it's hard to, hard to know what, what shade I should get. Should I get my actual shade, or should I get, like, my actual tan shade, like, I need at least to get two more foundations because I really need to 
mix this with something else, something very much lighter. Um, so I did forget to spray my face as well. I always usually spray my face with Mario Prosecco. So just this one here, and it is got, it is, oh, it has aloe vera, cucumber, and green tea. So yeah, it's good to just give it a spray every now and again, just to keep it, your skin alive. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go straight in with this one. I'm just gonna go in my coconut scalp excellence from makeup store and I'm just gonna use that foundation and I'm, it's just, it might be a little bit too light but that's all right I'll just bronze up my face this isn't too bad like I find that with my Napoleon Purtis cashmere um Strike of Genius my look too if if I use that when I've got a tan on but I bronze up my face it ten, tends to go a lot whiter throughout the day when it sets and neutralizes and all that sort of stuff but with this one I think because it has a nice little it has a really nice, oh, I don't know, green base or something. Um, it doesn't really seem to do that. It's very matte and it's it's just really nice. It's just really nice. I don't really know what else to say. All right, so I usually always use my beauty blender, but I'm just going to use my buffing brush from Real Techniques today because I need to start using my brushes more because this one really works very well and I used to use it all the time so yeah, that's just what I'm gonna do okay cool so I'm not gonna set that because I never set my foundation unless I really have to um, I let it set itself give it some time to really do its thing in the meantime I will do other stuff so I'm going to do my concealing Concealing, concealing, concealing. And I'm just using my NYX concealer full coverage in yellow and I'm going to stick that everywhere that I want to highlight, pretty much. Everywhere that I want to highlight and conceal. Yeah, a bit of a rough job today, but I'm gonna grab my disgust disgusting beauty blender um uh, see every time I do like I feel I film something I leave all the shit where it is and I kind of just like grab the big gap grab <laughs> grab the memory card grab the battery charge the battery show away before I forget to and then I want to do another video and I'm like the battery's dead and then just try to edit as much as I can because I wake away I honestly have no freaking time. I'm away for two weeks at a time. I can't film anything for two weeks, so I'm just trying to get as much done as possible. So everything's just crazy. But it's okay because it's what I love to do. But yeah, I just kind of leave everything in a mess until I fly out again, clean everything, clean my beauty blenders, <laughs> clean my brushes at least and put everything back to where it was and oh that's on the stove all right and now i'm going to bake with my natio translucent powder powder do you know what else is really annoying when i'm trying to smash out as many videos as i can is when the internet in this area is so slow that it literally can take up to a day and a night and like I'm uploading a video right now and it is on 54% uploaded and it's had all night, all night. So what's the time right now? Like 9.30 or something, 9 o'clock? And it's on 54%. And that just does my head in, does my head in. Like I've, I'm uploading that one and I've got another one ready to be done afterwards. Like doing this whole thing, doing the videos and the editing and all that sort of stuff, it's just sort of like the opposite of what I should be doing because I have no patience, no patience whatsoever. And this sort of thing just doesn't mean like the whole doing this right now and doing makeup and stuff obviously is amazing, but when there's issues that goes along with it, like all the issues that I've had with this camera and then all the issues I've had with iMovie and all that shit, like it doesn't mix well with me and all my not having patience and I've got translucent all over my pants <laughs> all right so um let's go into eyes 
So I've got my Pretty Fun Fearless. I'm going to use that one today. And what am I going to use? I'm going to use, I don't know. Oh. Neutrals. I'm going to go neutrals and then I'm going to use a nice little goldy thing there. Um, so I'm going in with my trap, which is that of white one right there. And I'm going to put that on my eyelid. And that is going to act as a base. And then I'm going to go in with Skinny Dip, or oh, sorry, Skinny Dip, and then I'm going to go to Unconditional and then On Fire. So I'm going to use those ones to build up my transition shade and my crease and all that sort of stuff. And I think that's probably as dark as I'll do it. And I'm taking it all through my crease from the outer corner to the inner corner, straight across. And then I'm going to go with Queen B, and I'm going to stick that right in the outer V to really build up that outer V for some definition and to lift my eye. And then I'm going to grab a clean brush, just like this, this little, you know, and I'm going to take that over the edges and soften those right out. Cool. And then I'm going to do my brows and what I'm going to do for my brows is use my Napoleon Purtis Dirty Dirty, oh that looked weird, um, it's covering shit. Um, so I'm going to use my Wonder Brow in Brunette Beauty and I'm, it's just like a mascara for your brows, I'm just going to use that over the top and that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for my brows. I'll come back to those in a sec. But in the meantime, I'm going to take away all that powder. What is going on right now? Why is this so strange? My breakfast is not doing its thing today. Thanks for that. So now I'm going to grab on fire, take that underneath my lash line, and then I'm going to take Skin Deep, that light crease colour, and put that in the corner of my eye, sort of there, underneath my lash line, and we're going to take that Skin Deep and I'm going to run it underneath the whole lot. Okay, so now we're going to go on to contouring. Not really contouring today, I think just maybe... Bronzing. Bronzing up my face and that will do for today. Alright, so. Alright, I need to put on mascara quick because I look like a bit today. Um, so I'm going to quickly come to my nose because that is something that I nearly forgot to do. So I'm just going to grab this brush. It doesn't, have, it doesn't have too much product on it from when I softened out my eyeshadow, so it will do. I'm going to put on some blush. This is Savvy and this is some Plum. Oh shit. See, this brush is a little bit hard sometimes for blush. So it kind of just plops it on one area where it's like if you get a brush like this you can spread it around and like you know blend it out to where you want it to actually get in there. Okay cool cool. I'm having a little bit of trouble with highlighters at the moment just because with this one, this hourglass one, it is so powdery and it's doing my head in. It's doing my head in. So today actually what I was going to do is I was going to highlight my whole face first like before I did contour and, contour and blush and I was going to grab a beauty blender and just stick it on everywhere and then put the contour on next and hopefully it all blends in. Um, but I forgot to do that, so I don't know what else to do, really. What else do I have? Shit. Well, I'm just going to have to use this one. 
because the rest of my colors are all like freaking pinky and I have like a nice gold cream one but I can't put that on top of my powder there so yeah. actually I'll put my big brother and I'll dip straight in and oh shit Yeah. Okay, so what else can I ask? So I'm going to pop a little bit of this Strauss little metallic y kind of eyeshadow thing. And this is on this is the AC Me eyeshadow. And I'm gonna stick that on top of my lens because I don't usually use it and it's very pretty. Very pretty. Um, so I'm going to stick a little bit of that VK colour and I'm going to pop that in the corner of my eyeballs, just here. And I forgot, I'm going to put on lip gloss. I'm going to put on lip gloss today. But it's in my bag, so I'll be back. Do you like my outfit? Do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya? Here's my shoes. Ooh. Okay, my eyebrows are so shit today, but that's right, because I'm like so over my eyebrows because they, they're not doing me well. They're not serving me well. And so that's why I'm over them. I'm not excited about eyebrows anymore. It's just one of those things that Okay, so I feel like something's missing. I feel like I'm really dull. Oh, I need some mascara. My bottom lash has. Drying them. All right, Um. so it's a little bit better. Um. Oh, so. Favorite lip gloss at the moment is um, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. So, usually really not a lip gloss fan at all. Always hated the look or the, the really glossy look on your lips. Like it just looks stupid sometimes to me. I don't know. I just used to be a lip gloss girl for a lip stick girl for yonks. Um, anyway, so I saw um, Chloe Morello do a little review on these and they just looked amazing like she loved them she's like these are literally the best lip glosses that I've come across ever and they just um they feel nice they smell and taste amazing I'm just obsessed with things that smell and taste amazing at most oh smell at least smell amazing like I don't know um I have this sunscreen that I'm using up at work and it smells like banana it's like really nice fresh it just it's amazing it's so moisturizing as well like it just wakes me up in the morning actually makes me a little bit happy you know so just because it smells like freaking it just it smells like bananas and usually bananas smell like shit sort of but it just smells oh glorious so loving things that smell nice um not like um um creams or anything that I anything that I put on my skin because fragrances obviously in products like that is not good for you but things like this it's fine obviously and um yeah um so um yeah, so usually not a lip gloss girl because um, I don't like the look and, um, you know, I hate when my hair gets in it. I'm like, what the f It's like just annoying. So, um, but then I saw when she, when she wore them as well, um, they just looked really fresh and like young, like just really youthful and pretty. They just looked really pretty and, um, yeah, I don't know, was whatever. Just looked nice. And then I tried it when I was in Mecca I know, I'm disgusting, I put a tester on my mouth. Not on my mouth, I squeezed it out of the tube, but you know. Um, and I was obsessed with how it felt as well, like it just, and the way it looked as well, I was like, wow, my lips look plumper. And yeah, it just looked really 
young and cute and all that stuff. So I do have a little bit of foundation on my lips and it probably wouldn't, shouldn't, wouldn't really work well with uh, the lip gloss, but anyway. So yeah, um, $27, so not cheap, not cheap at all, but just make sure that when you, if you put this over any kind of other lip stick, just claim the stick off because it is too expensive to put other products and get it all mixed up and disgusting. So make sure you claim it off first. Right? Okay, cool. So this is the finished look. I'm going to spray some more of that Maravisecco. And I'm going to spray some Ebon Decay or not over. So, for anyone that's watching, does anyone have like a really awesome highlighter that they would recommend? Because I am getting over it. I've got all these highlighters and a lot of them that I won't use because they don't really, they just don't work for me. There is actually the XO, XO Beauty by Shannon from New Zealand, the New Zealand YouTuber. She has brought out a really nice makeup brand. Her highlighters look joy as well. They look, um, they look really like a nice glow on your face, not like glittery, all that glittery stuff on your face. So it looks, they look lovely and her brushes like apparently are amazing. So I think I will invest in her brushes and I will get one of her bold tone highlighters and and I think I might check to see how everyone else uses this highlighter because it's way too powdery and I don't know what's going on. Now you know what, in my next video I will highlight up my face with this, with a beauty blender so that it is a little bit um, damp and um, not so powdery and then I will contour and then I will blush and I'll see how that works. Cool, so I think that is all for this look. Maybe I'll just touch up the brows a little bit. The thing with this product, it's really good. The brow um, stuff by Napoleon Purtis, the Wonder Brow. It's not, it's not too bad. But if you're, um, it does cling to all the hair. So if your brows aren't perfectly groomed at the time, it will cling to all the little hairs that you've got, um, which is kind of what it's doing to me right now. So yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I really need to let, let them grow out and then maybe I'll have to see a professional because I am too stupid to do my own brows. Alright, so I think that's all for today. Oh, that's bunching up. So with this lip gloss, I do like to kind of take it with my finger and really kind of work it in because it can bunch in the middle there. Right there. But that's probably because I had the foundation on top. But anyway, so that is all for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching this little more natural kind of subtle, subtle glam look. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.